This video is a Lido Finance tutorial. We're gonna look at using the protocol, a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually stake your coins on here, and then some of the pros and cons of doing it, some of the things that you need to consider. So I'll leave all of the timestamps for all of those sections down in the description below. So firstly, what exactly is liquid staking and why would people use Lido? You can of course stake coins directly on the blockchain. That is the most secure version of doing things. So if you have some of these, you can go and stake them. But the problem is there's lockups for these coins and some chains are much harder to stake than others. For example, on Ethereum, you need 32 ETH if you wanna run your own validator. Uh, and there's a lockup as well. Uh, there's also a lockup on Polygon. Solana has a few days lockup, I think, and Polygon has a lockup as well. That means if you stake your coins, they are there and you can't use them, you can't sell them until they are unlocked. That's not great as a user because we want liquidity. Also, we want to be able to use these coins on DeFi so that we can earn extra yields as well on them. So Lido steps in and what they do is they do all of the background stuff for you. They'll go and stake your Ethereum or they'll go and stake your Polygon Matic, but they also give you this secondary token, which is known as a liquid staking derivative. It's called liquid because it is liquid. It's a token that actually accrues your staking rewards, but because it's not locked up, you can actually go ahead and trade those assets online. So you can get in and out of them really quickly. There are no lockups um, and obviously, 10% of those fees are passed to Lido for their job. So liquid staking essentially just allows you um, liquidity of those coins. You can keep them in your wallet, you can trade in and out of them straight away, and you don't have any lockups, and you can use them across DeFi to get extra yields. So these are the supported coins right here, and we'll go through the supported wallets and how to actually go ahead and stake them. You're gonna be using the blockchain to do all of this, so you'll need to find the supported wallets. The main wallet for each crypto coin is gonna be used, but you can actually go to stake now on each coin and then come down to the FAQs. You'll see which wallets are supported right here. Phantom, I would recommend for Solana. The others, probably Metamask, but any other Ethereum-based wallet's gonna work as well. Before I go through the guide though of setting up that wallet and making sure everything is okay, I need to tell you the difference between a rebasing token and a non-rebasing token. Depending on which token that you have, it will either be rebasing or non-rebasing. So with Ethereum, as an example, that's a rebasable token. What that means is if you put one ETH in here to stake and you hold it in your wallet, over time, you will be accruing those staking rewards currently at uh, about 5.2% for Ethereum, which is great. How do you actually get those rewards? Well, for staked Ethereum, it's rebasing, meaning that at the end of the year, you will have more staked ETH tokens in your wallet. So every day you'll actually have a rebase and you'll, you will get more tokens that you can see in your wallet. That's how you accrue the staking rewards. For other coins, for example, staked Matic, it doesn't rebase. What happens is the actual coin itself goes up in value to represent those staking rewards. So it's a kind of like a net asset value or NAV style where your staked uh, Matic will actually increase in value. So it might start at one for one, but then over time it might be 1.05, 1.1, right? So it will get more expensive. With others, it will be a rebase where you actually get more tokens. You can see on the um, each token you go to learn more, it will tell you if it's a rebase or non-rebase. Now there are some risks as well to using Lido, which I'll describe very quickly here, uh, that you don't get with staking directly. The first is DAO. The Lido has a DAO and they can obviously vote to do things that may negatively affect you. For example, raising the percentage that they take of your staking rewards. The second thing is validators. They choose a set of validators for you. Um, and if they do something wrong or go offline, they could get slashed, reducing your rewards. But I think that is the same if you chose your own validator anyway. In fact, Lido run their own validators or they actually choose other validators as well. And they can get something called MEV, which is minor extractable value certainly on ethereum and that can actually boost staking rewards so it's kind of a give and take here the second thing is market risk because each of these coins is a staked coin and it's liquid it represents the other staking coin if there is um, a liquidity issue or something like that um, or for, for some other reason the market may actually have these staked coins fluctuate in price they should be one for one with the staking coin right but they might not be the staked coin may actually drop in value a little bit because of some uh, something that happened in the market so just to be aware of it actually happens more for ethereum because at the moment there's a lockup with ethereum and so 
um, there could potentially be a divergence between the staking price and the underlying price. It should be one for one, but sometimes the staking coin may actually drop if there's liquidity issues or something like that in the market. So depending on which coin that you have, you're gonna want the wallet downloaded. So I'll quickly go through that for Ethereum and the others it's MetaMask for Solana, you're gonna want, want Phantom Wallet for the most part. So if you go to stake now, you can see Connect Wallet up in the top right hand corner and then it will show you all the supported wallets. I'm just gonna show you with MetaMask here. If you don't have MetaMask or you don't know what that is, um, I'll leave tutorials in the description for you that go through uh, downloading MetaMask. So if you click download, you can set up a wallet right there. I would also recommend a hardware wallet like Ledger. So I'll leave some links to tutorials for that and the hardware wallets in the description as well you're going to want a blockchain wallet and then just connect it up so you can connect that and then it will be right there for you where you can actually go ahead and you know submit your staking now for each coin, you're gonna to have to have the underlying main coin to actually stake. That's Sol for Solana, uh, ETH for Ethereum. So I'll quickly show you how to get those into your wallet if you don't know. Obviously we're on the um, Lido site right here. Come to your exchange. So whichever exchange that you use, you know, Coinbase, Binance, Bybit. I'm gonna show you Bybit here. Again, just go ahead and buy the underlying coin that you're gonna to need to stake. So. Now for Ethereum, just search for ETH. Now, some exchanges actually directly sell the liquid staking derivatives, and so you don't even need to use Lido. Remember that liquid staking derivatives are essentially a separate coin that accrues staking rewards. So you don't need to go and buy ETH and then stake it with Lido. You can just directly buy staked ETH and get those rewards. Now, not every exchange supports this, Bybit does. I'll leave a link to them in the, in the description because for right now, they're giving zero fees on spot. They actually give deposit bonuses as well. I'll leave some links to exchanges that do that in the description, but right here you can see ST ETH. So I can actually just directly buy stake teeth on Bybit and I don't have to go through the rigmarole of getting ETH, transferring it to my wallet and then staking with Lido. I can just buy it direct right here. Another really important thing to understand is that if you have a liquid staking derivative on an exchange, it may not accrue those staking rewards. And so you need to withdraw it to your wallet. So if you wanna buy on an exchange like Bybit, you can buy stake teeth directly right here, just buy it and then go to withdraw and withdraw draw it to your wallet. So you just bring up your MetaMask and obviously get your wallet address here. Make sure that you're on the Ethereum mainnet. You can very easily click copy and then obviously withdraw it, just go through that process. But then you just buy it directly on the exchange, take it out to your wallet and you accrue those staking rewards. Another thing to do is add the token address to your MetaMask or other wallet. Sometimes you can send coins to your wallet and it doesn't show up and you, you don't know if it's actually gone through. So what you can do here is go to something like CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap and search for the coin. I'll show you here with Stake Teeth again, but every token, just put ST and then the token. So ST dot ST soul. You can see Lido staked uh, ETH here. So if you click on that, on the right hand side, you'll see the contract address. So you just wanna copy that here and then go to your MetaMask or Coinbase wallet or whatever you have, come down and click uh, import tokens and then you just paste in the address here and it'll add that token for you. So then you can see any balances in your MetaMask in case they don't show up. If you can't buy the staked asset directly on the exchange, then let's actually go ahead and use Lido for what it's meant for, which is staking the you know the base layer token. So just come to the uh, coin that you wanna stake. This is a very simple interface here. You need some base layer coin in, uh, in your wallet. So I've got some Ethereum here, just ETH. All you do is just max it out or however much that you want to stake and press submit. It's gonna give you right here how much staked ETH that you're gonna get and the exchange rate. It's mostly one for one, but not always. If you have a non-rebasing token, it might be a bit more or less, right? The transaction cost is gonna tell you, and you can see for staked ETH, Lido take 10% of the staking rewards for their service. Now, something really important as well is like I said, you don't need to do this. You can just go into the open market and buy the liquid staking derivative token um, direct. You don't need to use Lido. So I'll show you that. You can see for, for ETH actually, it even tells us you can get a discount by going onto the OneInch platform. OneInch is a um, exchange aggregator, so it gets the best price across um, you know, different exchanges. You actually get a better price if you just go ahead and buy the LSD directly rather than staking it through Lido. So let's just go through and see that. Press get discount, we can go through to the OneInch exchange right here. And all you do is press swap, right? Um, so we press swap. Now we wanna sell ETH because we have that token and we wanna buy staked ETH. So we're just gonna search for it. ETH, and you can see that right here. 
Now, ST ETH is trading at a little bit of a discount. As you can see, one ETH gets you just over one stake teeth. So if you have that, you can go ahead and actually trade. Now, again, depending on gas fees at the time, it might, might cost you a little bit, but it's gonna cost you gas fees on Lido anyway. So for most of these tokens, for most people, it's probably gonna be easier just to go ahead and buy them in the open market. I'll also show you some other exchanges that you might wanna use if you want to stake DOT, then StellarSwap is the native exchange there on the Moonbeam network, not on the DOT network. This links up with your MetaMask. You can also use Radium for Sol. You can see here I can get Sol in my Phantom Wallet, link it up and just buy staked Sol directly. And we also have Curve Finance as well. These are all DEXs, like leading DEXs for each chain. You can actually choose the network, but you can see down here, there's staked Matic, Matic. So if you have Matic, which is the Polygon token, you can swap that directly in for staked Matic. Because it's all decentralized, you'll be accruing those rewards. So you can either buy them, you know, uh, directly on a DEX, or you can stake them through Lido. You can check the prices to see where, where you'll get the best deal. So what if you wanna unstake your coin and get the base layer coin back? Well, again, you can trade it on the open market really easily. And as long as the exchange rate is good, then that's great. The other way, the other way is to unlock through Lido. That's gonna take a little bit longer. You're gonna have to wait um, for the unlocking period. So depending on the coin, that's gonna be different. So that's why liquid staking derivatives are good because you can just trade them directly in the market and sell out of them back to the base layer coin or back to USDT or something like that. But if we go to the uh, Solana, for example, you can come up to the top, it says stake right here. You can just go to unstake. And as it says, there'll be a two to three day window where you have to unstake. So that's why trading those derivatives in the market is gonna be easier. You can trade it straight away, but just watch out for the exchange rate because like I said, it may fluctuate. So make sure you're getting a good deal. Now with these staking derivatives, another advantage is that you can use them in DeFi to provide liquidity and earn extra rewards on top of the staking rewards that you get. This happens across all of these chains. So I'll quickly show you for Solana. They actually have a tab called Solana DeFi right here. Um, and then what you can do is have liquidity in staked Sol and Sol and provide it to a DEX and you get trading fees from traders. You can see that staked Sol plus Sol right here is getting around 13% APY, which is almost double the APY that you're getting off the staking derivative. Now there's some things to uh, know here. Firstly, you wanna make sure that the uh, application that you're using is trustworthy and it's not giving you high yields because it's some you know random application that we don't wanna use. Also, don't get your head turned by very high yields because there's something called impermanent loss when you provide liquidity and it can really eat away at your rewards even though the APY seems high. So what I would suggest is sticking to the two coins being the same thing. Remember, Sol and Stake Sol are basically the same thing, right? And so their price isn't gonna fluctuate that much. So you're gonna to want to stick to Sol plus Stake Sol. So this one here, um, where you see that, that is where you're gonna to want to add liquidity. Now, I've got some extra tutorials on this because it's quite in depth about getting the right balance between each coin and providing liquidity. I'll link them in the description if you wanna know more, but this is definitely a very decent way of earning extra yields on your staked coin. Coins, um, but there are some things to consider, so I'll leave that for the video that I link below. That is liquid staking though. It's a little bit complex, but there are some very big positives to it as well. All of the resources that I mentioned, I'll leave them in the description below. I'm James with Money CG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.